Hey, so this video we are looking at products now. Some of us are product based, some are service based, some are a mix of both. This video is great if you have a product that you want to showcase. Now it helps you um, show your product in a slightly creative way because we're going to give it a shadow. We're giving it a reflection. We're making it stand out a little bit more and that's what it's all about. It's all about visibility and having someone go, oh, I love that image. That, isn't that gorgeous, the way they've done that, the way they've created it? Um, I'm going to read up. I'm going to read the text. So in this short clip, I'm just going to be showing you a very simple way to create a reflection of your image in Canva. This could also be done with services. It could be done with a photo of yourself. It could be done with a review or a testimonial. You know, get a bit creative and just see what you can do with it. But I'm doing the video with a product just to show you a way of creating these reflections. So I'm going to head over to my screen now and show you how to do it. I'm going to be showing you how to create a reflection within your designs. We've got this lovely reflection here. I'm going to show you how to do this. This works really well with product based businesses when you just want to give a design a little something extra. You can add this shadow effect so that it gradually fades out. It's very easy to do but very effective within your designs. So I'm going to, this is what I did earlier, delete that one. I'm going to add a new page and I'm going to show you from scratch how to do this. So first of all, we need a product photo. We need a photo that we want to create a shadow for. So our product, I've got one here. I'm going to use this one. Now I'm bringing it up the top, making it a lot smaller so you can add text around it. You can add a background colour, you can add your designs, your logo, anything to this once you've created your drop shadow. So we need to get rid of this background first of all. We've got this photo but it's got a background. So if you've got Pro, you can go over to Effects and click Background Remover. If you do not have Pro and you're using the free camera account, go to remove.bg. It's a website. It will let you just drag your image into the box on there and it will remove the background for you automatically. You can then upload it into your Canva account. So there are a couple of ways of doing it if you don't have the Pro account. So we've removed the background from our image. We now need to duplicate this to start our shadow. So over here we've got the little duplicate button. We now have two, exactly the same size but this needs to be upside down and that's where we use this little flip section here so you can see we can flip it vertically so now I can place my mirror image wherever I want it now I'm going to leave a slight gap there so now we've got two mirror images or a mirror image and we want to give this just a little something so that it looks more like a reflection rather than a copy. To do that we use a gradient. So if we go over to elements and we type in gradient. The one you need to use is this one here. It's free which is fantastic but you can um, use this one because it does fade out completely. There's no edge to it. So I'm going to use this gradient. Now we want the deeper colour at the bottom. So this is more faded and this is less faded here. So we need to rotate this. It also means we don't have a line within the design because we're going to put it at the bottom. You can stretch this out so it fills the whole design. If you're creating um, a full design, I would recommend doing this. But for what I'm going to show you today, I'm just going to bring it down over this design here. So I'm going to change these colours to white, which is here. So the top one is already white, which is the light faded section. The bottom section is the chunkier more faded section so I've changed that to white as well by clicking these two here. This is beginning to look better. You can move this 
obviously don't go out of range of your image. So the top is um, very faded, barely able to see it. Now the only other thing is our gradient is going across here, both images. We want this image to be full. We want this one to be bold and bright. So we can bring this forward. Everything within Canva is layered. Things are layered on top of each other. So once we've got our gradient in place, we then click on the image that we want bold. And we click position and we bring it forward. Okay, so it as forward as you can get it. So it is the very front image. And as you can see, it is now a lot bolder. And this gradient will only be, as you can see, it doesn't go on that image at all. It will only stay on the bottom image. So there we have our gradient. You can pull it out full if you want to change the colours, it does need to be full over the screen. Um, then you can click on the background, you can create the background a colour. Works Light colours in the background work really well with white gradients, but you can also change the colours of your gradients if you want to, so that it's the same colour as the background. I personally prefer the white, I think it looks a lot better. So there we go, That's, that is um, creating a reflection that fades out the bottom of our design. So now you can add in any text, your logo, you can, you can add your business name, you can add some information about the product, but you've got this beautiful shadow. You could even add your text over the shadow, it will be so much more readable because the bottom um, image is faded out. So I hope you've enjoyed that. So we have gone through adding reflections into our designs today um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.